So in the video when I went over the new Hyperglider vehicle in Mad City, I said this. I won't be able to buy it because it's like really expensive, but I'm going to keep playing the game, trying to get as much money as I can, and then when I can get it, I'll show you me buying it. And that's exactly what I did. So here we are in Mad City, and as you can see, I have 5 million cash inside of the game. I've literally spent like over the, like, the past week playing this game non-stop, trying to get as much money as I can, trying to get the 5 million, and I finally made it. So what am I going to do with this 5 million? Well, you see this hyperglider right here? We're going to go ahead, press E. Do you want to buy the hyperglider for 5 million cash? Yes. Now it's, now it's mine. So now that I have the vehicle, we're going to go ahead, enter the driver. Um, it's stuck in the ground. Let me get off it real quick. Um, hopefully, oh, there we go. Now I'm going to, there, there we go. Now, because I have just got it, I actually don't know how it works. Of course, you use W, A, S, and D to move around. That's if you're on a PC like me. You use F to shoot the rockets, just like you would with like, any other vehicle that has rockets, like the Buzzard. And then it says E to actually like glide. Oh, and then you get your wings out, and then do you just like off you go? Oh, and then you just go off a ramp, and then off you go. Um, we seem to be doing loads of little loops around. I don't actually know how you control this thing, but it's it's pretty cool. It seems to be like really sensitive as well. So like, if you like go one way, it like oh, okay. Now now we're just going up in the air. It is really hard to control. So if you're like not on PC, I wouldn't really recommend it because I don't know how it would work on mobile it'd probably be like way harder obviously because like the controls and stuff but um it does loads of loops really well as you can see you just hold the, the forward button and then yeah th there you go and then if you wanted to just like come down i'm assuming you just press e again or whatever it is on where whatever you're playing on maybe mobile you just tap it if you have it you press e and then you just go down again but then you can press it again and it'll give you like some sort of speed boost i think this is probably like the best way of getting around using it because like it, to, let's be real if you're trying to move around like this you're not really gonna get very far one it's pretty slow because otherwise it'll be like way too hard to actually handle and two you, you just end up doing loads of these little flips so I'd recommend if you do have it just like get rid of your glider and then go back up again with the glider and it will like move you in the direction use W, A, S and D to like move yourself I think this is probably the way to do it but the question is how easy is it to like kill people with it because of course this thing does have rockets as well it's pretty overpowered so if I go on over to like the um the uh, prison over here see if there's actually oh there's a, there's a guy right here a rate, um, we have it on red lock right now, so we can, oh, the, the dude's pretty bad at driving, did I, did I still hit him though? No, he's right there, he's right there, bro, okay, it's pretty, it's probably gonna be really hard to aim with this thing, and I'm now in the water, I'm just gonna kill him, kill him anyway, cause, uh, I want him to escape again, so I can kill him with the actual plane, that'd be, that'd be great, can you, can you please die, please, like, um, stop going off with your jet ski, you're not gonna go very far, or you will, I don't know. Just gave it a new look, it's now look, looking like this, look, looking pretty good. You can't actually change the speed with it, you can only change its skin, you can change its wheels and stuff, but you can't, and you can also change its plate, but it doesn't really have a plate on the back of it. You can't change the engine though, but that's pretty understandable, because otherwise it'll be like really OP, really fast, and you probably won't be able to handle it if you have like the um, max engine um, level. So I'm going to just do this, I want to try and kill someone with this before we end the video. So if I just go back to the prison again, that guy did uh, probably go rob, so I'm probably not going to be able to... Oh wait, we got a guy here, okay, I didn't really know what um, team he was on, but he's uh, not on our team, so I'm just going to like shoot like a billion rockets at him and hope that I actually get him. I disabled his vehicle, and I'm probably doing a lot of... Did I kill him? Is he dead? Oh god, come on, I'm sweeping back around, there we go, that should have got him. Did it get him? Maybe it hit him, but I don't know. Wait, there we go, here we go. Right there, that should do him. Please. And I got him. I knocked him down. So, but I still haven't actually finished him. So if I just do that, then he should be dead. Bro, how long does it take to kill this dude? One more, please. He, sh he should be dead now. Bro, is he still- Oh my god, he's still alive. H how do I- Oh my god, go! I need like a ramp to get back up. That's the thing with this thing. You can't just like straight up fly, you need a ramp. There we go, I'm going back because he's probably going to be dead any minute. And I actually want to finish him off. So if I just quickly go like this, there we go. Now he should be... Oh, why did it not... There, there we go, he should be dead. Disable the flying vehicle. The dude should be dead right now. Is he dead yet? No, he's not. 
Wait, I don't even know what guy I'm shooting anymore. I'm just shooting random people. That's the thing with this thing. But there's like loads of people down here, so I might as well like try and shoot them all, right? Oh, there's, there's one right there. Try, trying to get away. Did I hit him? Hopefully I did, because I had like the red lock aim thing, so it should should have killed him. There's like loads of people down here as well, so I don't actually know who I'm shooting. I'm just shooting random people. Oh, go, go up, go up. Alright, it kind of gets hard to control it sometimes, but if you're... If you're on it for like 20 minutes, it, you, you get the you, you get the hang of it. It's not really that hard as long as you know what you're doing. You should be go oh go 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 back up. There we go. You don't want to fall off in the water though, because that would just literally get rid of your vehicle. So uh, now we're just stuck in the air doing loads of loops. I don't know what we're doing. Still haven't actually managed to kill anyone with this thing yet though. Um, but I'm, but I'm gonna try. So if we go like this way, we're gonna go back up. We're probably gonna see like a load of prisoners uh, escaping because there is quite a few in prison still. Is that a person like right there that we can kill, or is he? No, he's a he's a hero. I f swear I just saw a villain though, like that guy right there, or or any of them. Yeah, there's definitely a villain down there. Oh, that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna kill kill that guy. Yeah, right there. That that should have just sent a rocket and pretty much destroyed the dude. Though it didn't. The rockets do 20 damage, I can see. I can see that. So they do quite a bit of damage. You'd have to hit them like about three or four times, like with um the highest red lock on it, if you actually want to kill someone with it. But um still pretty oh my god, it's not very good if you keep spinning around. There we go. There we go, and then do that, and then I should. He, he should be dead. Oh, whoever. So someone should be dead. Come on, please. I want to actually kill someone with this thing. Oh, and I killed him. There we go, you can get 15 kills being a hero or, an, or a villain, easy. You ready? This guy, he's also going to be dead. I, I don't know if I actually shot when it was locked onto him, but I don't think I did actually. Right, but he's not getting... Oh my god, bro, the lock keeps going off because like, I keep moving. Right, get someone, whatever. Whatever, I think I got... Or at least try to hit someone. Wait, there's like the guy, there's like two in there. Bro, it keeps switching locks because of the way I keep moving. Yeah, him, there we go. And then go up. Did I get him? I have no idea. There's like five people down there. Alright, I'm gonna try and look onto one person. Him. He's dead. He's gonna be dead in a minute. Or he's not. I don't know how he survived that, but he did. Alright, that guy. He's also gonna be dead. Wait, I gotta kill it. Okay, I think that was like some sort of assist, but okay. Alright. Alright. I'm gonna I'm gonna kill everyone down here, don't worry. So the bank right now is being robbed. So what I wanna know is can I actually get this? inside of the window that you can escape from. You know that window where there's the, uh, what's it called, the zip line? There's loads of people flying around and it keeps like locking onto them. I'm trying to kill them as well, but I do want to see if I can manage to, oh god, not that, there we go, at least I managed to get back up. So there's a window around here, right? You see that window right there? I don't know how, but I'm going to see if I can actually get the, the bike inside. Um, maybe it won't, okay, I don't think I will be able to because of the sensitivity on this thing. It's really hard to control it sometimes. Alright, go down, there we go. Okay, I don't know why I jumped off, but, um, where's my bike gone? Um, I mean, I know I could just, like, straight up spawn it back in, but where the hell did it go? Whatever. We're, we're just gonna spawn one back in, and then, uh, I'm gonna try again, but I probably won't be able to get it through that window. Oh, bro, there's a, there's a guy right there. Alright, well, uh, they're not gonna be able to get me if I'm doing this. Or maybe they will. Wait, no, the ramp's the wrong way. Oh, no, it's, no, it's not. I'm, I'm off. Okay, they're probably like, well, where the hell did he go? Well, uh... That's the thing with this thing, you, you never know where you're gonna go. Wait, where where did he go? That's the thing. I wanna actually come Oh there he is! There he is, lock on to him. Alright, he's dead. He's dead for even trying to kill me. Cause he's gonna be dead in a minute. Hold on. Wait, where'd he go? Oh he's right there. Yes, he right. There, there we go. He should be like so low health right now. Maybe, I'm hoping. Mm, right there, I think that's him in there. Maybe it is, maybe it's not. I'm gonna go down. Oh my god, I should have shot right then. Oh my god, stop doing loads of little... F oh my god, bro. This thing's like impossible to control it sometimes. So I don't know if it's worth it. It is a really good vehicle. But it just can be really hard to control. Right, this dude on a boat's actually gonna die. I got like three rockets trying to shoot the dude. He's literally about to die. And I... For some reason it got off focus from him. Bro, he, he's literally dead. Yep, I told you he was dead. And one to finish him off, he is literally gonna be dead. Like any second now, right? You ready? Three, two, one, and and he should he should be dead. I'm, I'm literally just gonna spam F and literally just like try and kill him with like three rockets. He th there we go. He he's dead. That that 
and, and I got some money for it. But before we do go ahead and end the video here, what I want to do is literally just like fly off this. I tried to um, spawn the vehicle on top of the bank, but unfortunately there's like a height limit to where you can and can't spawn your vehicles. You can't spawn a vehicle up there. You can fly a vehicle up there, but you can't spawn a vehicle up there. And the chance of me actually getting this really, really hard to control vehicle up there is literally like that. There's no chance I'm going to get up there. So we're, we're doing it here. Three, two, one. Let me, hang on, hold on. Let, let me get that out. There, there we go. And, and we're off. Okay, no, we're not that. That. Oh, oh. There, there we go. Now, now, now we're going, and we're just doing loads of loops. Unless I do this, to sort of. There, there we go. Now, now we. Oh no, we're doing loops again. Oh god, this thing is like literally almost impossible to control. But when you get it to work. It's a really good vehicle, but I think I'm gonna leave the video off here. If you did enjoy it, let me know by uh, liking the video, subscribe if you are new, and yeah, that's the Hyper Glider vehicle. If you want, you can go ahead and get it. It is a really good vehicle to play around with, have fun with. It's really fun to play around with. It is pretty hard to control it sometimes, so if you are on mobile, I don't know if I should recommend the vehicle to you, because it's probably going to be like really, really hard to um, control it on mobile. If it's quite hard to do on PC, then it's probably going to be really hard to do it on mobile. So if you're on mobile and you've got 5 million cash, uh, if you want to have a vehicle that's almost impossible to actually drive, go ahead, get it, because it this is probably that vehicle for you. But there we go, that's the new vehicle. If you enjoyed today's video, subscribe, like, there you go. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.